hey guys welcome back i'm sorry i've been away a bit you know um i've been running around stuff came up with business and the rest of it uh i did want to stop though and have a quick one while i have a cup of tea with you and just say you know tell you what i've been up to um so trying to keep it short um first off do you guys remember i posted in that spring cleaning vid uh, a quick uh, photo of rick next to a pallet bricks well, they were nice pallet bricks, but I wanted more accurate, more A-grade, you know, squared off perfect brick. Um, so this one is the first, I would say, really, A-grade square perfect brick. And, um, yeah, this one's 250 brick. I'll just show you there. And that's 40 brick per level, I think it is. And um, I've used this pick and used a few others. Um, for a new website that I've just uh, put together and um, you can have a quick gander's here and I'll leave the link in the description below even though you've got the address and everything there but uh, yeah, you could have a look around. Uh, please do forgive me. I've not got any stock in at the minute I'm just putting that together for say end of week end of this week end of the week after to see if we can get some stock in and start You know stocking it up and um, yeah, the stock is already started here um, As you can hear from me knocking over um, I'm just drying out some bricks in front of the halogen heater and I'd say there's probably about um 300 bricks there and the reason why i'm drying them out is because when they've been cut in the cutting process um they kind of expand due to water getting into them so when you've dried them out and you've shrunk them back down to their normal size you can work out which ones are you know correct dimensions which ones are a grade and b grade and the rest of it um, so yeah, there's a bit more stocking and um, I'll start adding that to the website shortly um, I'm tempted to just use the B grades off that stock to uh, put together to use them in the warehouse um, And that way, you know, I can cut down time of cutting and prices and the rest of it um, Yeah, I'm really got sorry guys. I've not been on a lot of your channels um, I've been trying to answer messages and stuff while I run around and do things but I've not had a chance to catch up on everyone's really, so I've caught up on the odd one, but, you know, uh, and I do enjoy everything I catch up on, but, you know, there's a lot out there that you guys are really supportive and stuff, and you do great stuff, that's the best part, you know, you're really good build qualities and exceptional ideas and stuff, so I do kind of miss it, and, um, yeah, I just wanted to post this to say I've not, you know, disappeared too badly, and um, things are moving on in the background slowly but surely, um, so yeah, say hello and stuff, uh, it'd be nice to hear from you and I will be coming to your channel soon I'm um, kind of slowly getting back to it and stuff Really looking forward to really getting back on the videos It's just uh, been a bit short on time and work and money and the rest of it um, 6 by 6 is, I'm just waiting for a um, transmitter, you know, controller and receiver board for the servos And uh, we'll have a go at that and see if we can finally get that up and running uh, I have had it out in the back. I did do a quick test to try to get it started. Um, I checked all the electronics, uh, checked the starter box and banged it on a big LiPo 12 volt 33 amp hour battery and the starter was working beautifully. Everything looked sweet, it was just the electronics, the receiver was twitching like bugger and the shed was isolated so there should have been no weird interference and that was without the actual transmitter on and with the transmitter on I could get nothing out of the old one some 90, early 90s kind of transmitter that have had better days I think um, so yeah thanks for dropping in and stuff catch us up shortly um, and do look forward to checking out a lot of your channels um, see you soon